Ladies and gentlemen, YouTube, everybody out there, it's Philip 20, and I'm back. Check it out. What we've got here today is something pretty cool. I wanted to show you guys the difference on the efficiencies of these uh, uninterruptible power supplies. We've got the king of the sine wave over here. And then we got your standard uh, your Best Buy, whatever. It's an APC. I don't know if it's Best Buy brand, but it's an APC. And then you got your Cyber Power. Which ones uses less electricity to be plugged in? We've got our uh, kilowatt meter power strip. It's right here. And we've got all three of those plugged in to the kilowatt meter. So first off, we're gonna look at the Cyber Power power strip. And that one is connected right here. You can see this wire here, it's connected to there. And the power drop to 30 watts from 35-ish watts. You've seen it. I'm gonna go ahead and unplug it. It drops down to 30, 29-ish, 30 watts. Okay, so, you know, that's, uh, that's five watts just to run. This has got a lithium battery, if I'm not mistaken. So this is probably gonna consume the least amount of electricity. And then we got uh, this surge protector APC one here. And we'll go straight to it and unplug it here. So this one appears as like three-ish watts coming off of the meter. So now we only got one thing plugged in and that's the one with the pure sine wave over here. This is the last thing plugged up to our power strip. That is a kilowatt meter. So 27 watts is what we're currently consuming with just this meter which is unfortunate, right? So, you know, th this thing does consume half as much wattage as my Magnum inverter, which is pretty disappointing uh, for the size because it, it's only capable of like 167 watts continuous load. Uh, you know, it it's heavy and huge. I mean, I don't know why it only uses a little bit of watch. I'm gonna turn this stuff off. So 27 watts just for this by itself, it's consuming a whole lot of electricity to make a pure sine wave. It seems to be kind of warm. Now I did plug this battery up way earlier today and I've been letting it charge. We can check the voltage on it. Uh, but I'm pretty sure this thing was charged. You know, it's 13.79 volts, 12 volt battery pack. This thing uh, is warm. It puts out heat. I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty warm. I'll get the infrared camera and show you. So here's my Fluke VR thermal imager. It's, it's not just a, a, a point and click. It is a thermal imager. It takes a little while for it to start once it starts it'll show you what's hot and what's not. You can see that's 106 degrees, 107. And we go here, 95-ish. The table itself is 87. And the other one over there is uh, 95. So that one's a little warm right in there. 
and then this is a hot spot here but it's cool to the touch it's not warm at all to me so you, you can see that uh, the hottest one out of all of them is the uh, that pure sine wave one it's it's a commercial one it's like 105 107 degrees Fahrenheit you know it got hot so I figured I would talk about it I was assuming that uh, you know this thing would be okay I'm gonna run this again for a, a while because I charged one battery yesterday it did good it charged up and it seemed like this morning it wasn't hot so uh, uh, it possibly that I actually turned it off yesterday I think that's what happened but I'm gonna run this and then I'm gonna run another battery on one of these so I have two identical batteries on this and we can hook those up maybe parallel if possible if we can get it to work parallel um, the sine waves will be exactly the same and then we can run them together so we get 300 watts but then it's going to consume like 50 watts to even be on so it's like more than a light bulb you know it's kind of crazy but this is just a quick view of uh what efficiencies you're going to be dealing with this is a fit this is a 27 watt power consumption device there's like a a three and a five i mean obviously the pure sine wave i'm still going to pick that one over these two if i had to choose what i'm going to be running my electronics on i'm going to be running this one uh 27 watts though is a lot especially if i'm going to be running 24 hours a day so maybe i can find an inverter that is more efficient but i got a feeling that the wattage is coming from the battery charger and i need to you know build a solar array around this so i could do like take the battery charger off and run a charge controller on the battery itself that way it doesn't get hot because i got a feeling that what gets hot in here is the uh charger for the battery so i hope you guys like the video it's just a quick overview of what i'm what's going on and uh, what we got here also if you didn't know keysight let me borrow one of their oscilloscopes i want you to go check out some of their products maybe something you guys might like to purchase for yourself and you know there's all kinds of great stuff coming from those guys uh they're they're probably going to let me borrow some more stuff in the future if i'm lucky you know if i do some good stuff with them i've got some more videos coming out uh, on the key site oscilloscope and i want you guys to know that they, they let me borrow this beautiful tool for a period of time now I'll, I'll send it back to them and i hope you guys like subscribe share and comment in the comment section below Peace out. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching all the way to the end of the video. There's lots more content coming. Click the subscribe button below. Make sure you come back for more because there's great content always coming up every day in this channel. See you next time. Peace.